Hello, my name is Adam Pratt, and today we are going to set up the Surex Flex 5P Pull to Pressure Rivet Nut Installation Tool for your application. We will begin by installing the nose piece for the thread size of rivet nuts that you will be installing. Step one is to take the hex driver and to place that on the front of the tool. Next, you'll take the socket head cap screw, place that onto the hex driver. You will then take a spacer, place that over the socket head cap screw. The spacer is only required for sizes smaller than M10 in metric and 3 8 in inch. Next, you will take the castle nut casing, thread that onto the tool. Over the socket head cap screw, you will pull the bar back, and when you thread this till it's tight, you want to make sure that the bar falls into one of the slots. Okay. Once that's in position, you can take the nose piece, put that over the nose assembly, make sure that's tight, then you will take your anvil for the thread size that you're using and place this on the tool. The next step is to ensure that the mandrel sticks out from the end of the rivet nut a minimum of one thread. Now that we have the proper nose piece on the tool for the rivet nut size you are planning to install, we will now move to setting the pulling force, pulling pressure of the tool. So we'll hook up our air. We want the air pressure to be uh, approximately 80 to 90 PSI. You will see on the tool, this is our pressure or force regulator. And you can see in that window, there are colored lines denoting your location or pulling force for which the tool will be pulling to. We will use a standard Allen wrench which fits into the tool. When the tool is in the position for the force regulator all the way to the right, you can see the white line. This, is, this position uh, means that the tool is pulling at the least or lowest force. If we take a rivet nut, quarter turn onto the tool, a little pressure, spins up to the anvil, and if we go to pull the trigger with this thread size, it should automatically go into auto reverse. Okay, you can see it did not install the rivet nut. So what we will do is take our Allen wrench, put that into the tool, and now we will turn it clockwise, a half turn. We will try to install the rivet nut again. Okay, you can see we installed it. So what we will do now is turn it another half turn to ensure we have the proper pulling force. Try one more. See the installed rivet nut. Now what we'll do is we'll try it in some material. You can see a perfectly installed rivet nut.